Hey everybody, I'll tell you what, we are up in Sturgeon Bay today, and man, I'll tell you, I cannot believe how cold the conditions are. It's not going to be long and we're going to be ice fishing for sure. Hey, Blonnie is on a unbelievable bass bite. He got one the other day, it was over 8 pounds that he actually took in and had officially weighed. Then he had another one, then another one that was over 7. That's why we're up here. I'll tell you, if we catch half a dozen fish today and anything that's over 7 pounds, this trip will be absolutely 100% worth freezing our heinies off. Hang on to them. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good Out in the great outdoors Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you by Warrior Boats Vortex Mike's Country Meats Bartline Barrels Leroy Meats Bait Rigs Tubble Towels, Magic Products, Easy Loader Trailers, and Heavy Shot. So remember like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. Hunter, are we gonna get some big bass today? I hope so. We're gonna try. All this is a lot easier when you could just fill it out. Look at this. Hey, we want to go fishing today, you know? That's, you know what they want? They want you not to put the money in there. So then you get the $263.50. So, so, okay, so I want to know, where did you come up with $263.50? I got to know that. Hey, so you're looking at cold water conditions. I'll tell you, I certainly love having this V2121 out here. When you talk about a boat that performs well, you definitely want to take a look at a Warrior because I personally feel it's the driest boat on the market. I'm thinking it's going to be a good wind. Yeah, it should be. Hopefully yep, everything comes together right here. <sighs> you guys. The drift is like everything. We've got to be it's... spot on with the drift. Yep. Want me dropping no, it? To him, no, no, huh? no. Just when he's, he's on back. there, there he is. He's. I mean, he just. I oh, didn't I like just the had way, one too. Huh? I just had. I one didn't too. like the way he felt. He he grabbed it. There he. Oh my God! Oh, I got him, Lonnie. Holy man! Did Good he job, absolutely? Buddy. He, yeah, buddy. Oh, oh, baby! He smashed that thing. You know, you said don't give him any line. Don't give him any line. Oh, look look at the look at the size of that bass. It's huge, dude. It's a monster. Holy cats! Look at look at that thing! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hey, it's worth freezing your fingers off. Look at that! Look at the size of that thing! Whoa! Wow! Them are absolutely lonny! Them are tanks! Yeah, they're Holy big fish. Holy gosh! Look at the size of that football! Oh my god, dude! Oh! 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 Look at! Oh my gosh! Them things! That is crazy! Oh, lonny! Get them in the net! Whoa. That's a six Woo. pounder, dude. Woo. That might be seven. My biggest smallmouth ever. Oh, yeah. Boy, I'm telling you, this is what it's all about. Coming out and enjoying the outdoors. You know, my fingers are absolutely just froze this morning. The wind's out of the northeast, blowing like crazy. We're out here just Lonnie and I. We tried to get somebody else to go along, and nobody else wanted to go, which I can't blame them until right now. Larry. Lonnie, look at that. A giant. Woo! 
Look at the size of this giant smallmouth. No doubt this is my personal best. I mean, this fish is, a, oh, no doubt, over six pounds. I've never caught a smallmouth. I've gotten some big ones with you, Lonnie, and some nice ones with Tommy, but that is like absolutely a giant smallmouth. You know, this is definitely worth coming out here this time of year with you, Lonnie, and trying to, I mean, if I, this is the last fish I catch today, and we do, if we've only been out here for maybe 15, 20 minutes, hey, I'm content. That is a smallmouth of a lifetime. Look how beautiful that fish is too. Wow, woo, I'm loving it, I'll tell you that. Hey, what an awesome, awesome fishery you have here. And I'll tell you something, I'm sure glad we're out here in the, the warrior today, but man, it is cold. My fingers are absolutely freezing. Let's get this big girl back in the water and show everybody what we're doing. There's nothing, uh, you know this better than anybody, but being a fishing guide and watching somebody get a PB, that just uh, makes you feel really good. I appreciate that, unbelievable. When I saw that fish come out and jump out of the water, I'm like, oh, I have never seen a smallmouth of that magnitude. That was absolutely something. Wow, I mean, and you know, like I said earlier, if, you know, if I don't catch another one today, I'm, I'm content with the trip right there. But we just got out here, honestly, we, the first drift that we made, uh, we had to kind of reposition ourselves because of the wind. And uh, so we were only on our second drift there. So I'm thinking we're probably in for a pretty good day. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. For almost 40 years, Leroy Meats has had the freshest cuts of meats combined with award-winning homemade sausage products. With over 60 different flavors of bratwurst and tons of options to process your wild game, there isn't a better place for outdoorsmen like us to eat. Leroy Meats has won number one brat for three years in a row in Wisconsin and ships anywhere in the U.S. So what are you waiting for? Fire up that grill and come on down to Leroy Meats in Horicon or Fox Lake, Wisconsin. on it. Let go of it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I want a bigger one. Hey, I'll tell you what, when the wind is this strong out here, there's only one way to slow yourselves down, and that's definitely putting out the old drift sock. Fish on. There's a double right there, boys. Lonnie, you just hit, lost one. Hey, I'll tell you what, it is absolutely wicked out here. We got two drift socks down. This fish isn't as big as the last one I caught, but still a nice fish. You know, that's the whole key. The whole key is boat control and whatever it takes to get that boat slowed down to stay on these brakes. That's a nice fish. I don't know if it's six pounds, but it's definitely heavy. You guys, look how dark the sky is, and it's only nine o'clock in the morning. It looks like it's nighttime. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. Man, oh man, the power of a smallmouth is like no other. Holy moly. Lonnie, oh, oh, big pike. Big old pike. I'll take that, something different. Woo, I thought for sure I had another smallmouth. That was a big one. 
But you had one on right at the I same time. I had one too, I had one. Pretty pike though right there, gotta love that. Fish number two, let's let him go. We're at the small mall today, big guy. Hey, oh, I'll tell you, man, oh man, this weather is absolutely crazy, but that, if you're gonna catch a giant smallmouth, it's gonna be in this kind of condition. Oh, there he is, it's a walleye. It's a walleye? <laughs> what, we just... Well, he ain't going back, I can tell you that. <laughs> we went from a monster bass to a ice pike to a walleye. I thought we were bass fishing <laughs> uh, I today. thought we were bass. I that sucker's you... going home. Our That's good nice friends 20... over at Bartline Barrels, they're going on a Kansas trip and they need some fish. There you go, nice buddy. job. Nice walleye, nice 22 inch walleye. Everything's biting now. Oh, there's a fish. I guess you're right. Hey, hey, Lotto! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Fighting well, the conditions. Yeah, everybody like today, Larry. Yeah, it's a total different game here. You know, we've had a couple big storms go through. I almost thought we were going to end up going in there for a little bit, but we got a little break in the weather now. Let's Ooh. see what you got here. You know, it went smallmouth. Pike, walleye, hopefully we're back to the smallmouth. You know, people don't understand is that like we don't, when we've set up a day to film with somebody, really can't, you really can't, you know, predict what the weather is gonna be. And, and I think a lot of times, like today is one of them days where most of the time, if you had clients, they'd probably cancel. But this is the day you wanna be out here. You got a shot at a giant fish and we saw that already. Let's get this fish. Nice job, Lonnie. That's a good fish, guys. Yeah, it is. Well, that went right, right into my line. I'm gonna reel mine up before we get in too much trouble here. Larry, that's a crazy day when you say a small bass is only four pounds, eh? <laughs> that is something, Lonnie, I'll tell you that. That's a nice one. And then you just got that pike, too. Just Holy got a nice man, pike. a yep. double. Let's get this one back in and uh, let's get after it. Magic Products is the fishing industry's number one leader in preserved bait and live bait storage. With hundreds of options in preserved baits, we have what you need for a successful day on the water. Hand-selected fresh bait and tested scents ensure the highest quality. Our live bait storage saves you money by keeping your bait alive and thriving. There it is! Look at the size of that! Holy moly! Just absolutely slops. Whoa! Oh my god, I don't know if that's big enough. <laughs> Magic Products, we're the best in baits and bait care. Introducing the new and improved Heavy Metal from Heavy Shot. 16% more downrange knockdown power with new higher density bismuth pellets layered over corrosion resistant steel. Try the new Heavy Metal today and increase your odds. Tighter patterns, longer range, clean kills. Heavy Shot. I didn't come this far to miss. Attention, ice anglers. If you or a loved one have suffered from catching complications, looming boredom, or overwhelming humiliation among your peers, call the Vexlar Group today. If you fish blind like a frozen zombie, you may be eligible to catch fish this year. If you've ever found yourself saying, you know, it's just nice to be out, you may be a struggling angler, and we know you're hurting. Please help stop this angling epidemic today by visiting www.vexlar.com. My name is Sam Sobey, and I approve this message. Hey, I'll tell you what, I just want to go a little bit farther this time. There's a little point here, and Lonnie's retying some lines, and uh, 
I'm gonna see if we can pull a one or two off of there. But basically most of our fish have been coming out of about, I would say about a 300 to 400 yard stretch. I just dropped down. I was just dropping a little bit more line down too and that fish grabbed it. So it just means I gotta slow down just a little bit more. Whoa, this is, a, this is definitely a bass. There he goes, it's gonna come out. Whoa, nice. Woo-hoo, I'm loving it. This is what it's all about. Hey, if you're gonna suffer and freeze out here, you know what, I'd rather sit here and catch a couple of big fish. Look at that fish. Oh, I can't believe. Got the old Meg's rods bent right over. It's a good one, Larry. It's a good one. It's not six pounds, but it's definitely good fish. Oh, man, oh man, the torque on these fish is just incredible. Look at, oh, he says, I am not happy with you at all. I was minding my own business down there, slurping up a sucker, there he is. There he goes, Woof. That's Woof. a tall dude. Little tubby tub. Look at that fish. Whoa, that's another nice bass, Lonnie, hold that. That's one. almost five pounds, buddy. Wow, look at that. Yeah, the conditions are a little tough out here, but we're catching fish, yeah. that's all that matters. Sometimes you gotta put up with the elements a little bit. The cold, the wind, my hands are froze, my feet are froze, oh, my feet are froze because why? Because I took my boots off last night, from, came back from bow hunting, and uh, left them in the house. Hey, again, what an awesome way to come out here and enjoy the outdoors. You know, when you can catch smallmouth of that magnitude, that's something. Let's let this big girl go and let's keep her fishing. Woo! Buddy. There we go, man. I'll tell you what, the bite is on fire now. Got a little break in the weather here. Feels like a good one, Lonnie. And you did say a little bit later in the morning there's a better bite, but I didn't think we were gonna make it out here this long, I'll tell you that. With all the bad weather that's coming in, she is dark, dark, dark. Man. That's a good one, Larry. They seem to be all good ones, but after catching the first one over six pounds, you're like, whoo. Oh. I'll take them, Lonnie, thank you. Hey, I'll tell you what, we haven't caught a fish under four pounds yet. This is amazing. You know, and again, you know, all we're doing is basically just dragging these suckers. We've, we're using 10 pound test fluorocarbon on about a four foot leader. We got double split shots on now because the wind is really hauling. But the key to it is staying on that break. Now, having the drift socks and using the trolling motor, because you know, during the course of the day, they'll shift up on these breaks and then they'll shift down on them. So um, it could be anywhere from 26 feet all the way up to nine feet. That wasn't such a good release. When you got these big gloves on, hey, as long as the fish is healthy and gets back good, I'm happy. Now we're talking fishing. That's, you know, that's a big thing too, about we got all this super cold weather and you gotta start building up the layers, the fat layers, you know, so you stay warm all winter. Oh, cheers to Big Bass Fishing. Big Bass Fishing. Stop by and make sure you check out Lonnie's mom. <laughs> no, no, Lonnie's oh, mom's shop. <laughs> Northwater Bakery Deli. Let's go get some more bass. All right. Hi, I'm Kate with Wings Over Wisconsin, and I'm proud to be part of an organization that concentrates on Wisconsin's natural resources. All the money that they raise for their banquet stays in the local area. That's how I was able to put in two beautiful ponds and some nesting habitat on my property. We encourage everyone to attend our banquets, or better yet, if you'd like to start up a chapter to create funds to do projects like this in your area, call our state office or visit our website, wingsoverwisconsin.org. Life is messy, but thanks to Tubba Towels, I can take on anything. Tubba Towel's heavy-duty design prevents it from ripping. Each wipe has aloe, vitamin E, and lanolin, so our skin stays soft and smooth. Tubba Towel saves time, giving us more time to enjoy the moments. Manage the mess. Are you tired of dealing with frozen chip-ups? 
Check out the heated Bite Me Box tip up with ultra sensitive adjustable bite settings. No more cleaning out iced up bowls. False wind trips are a thing of the past with our windproof flag. Interchangeable extra reel assembly. Great for panfish and all big game fish species too. If you want to catch more fish with less hassle, check out our products and video demonstrations online at boxtipup.com. I'm surprised it's actually not snow. Whew. All right, let's make another pass. Keep her moving. Huh? A little bit. They're easier to swallow. I got it. Oh, I got a good one going now. Holy man. Now he's under the other drift sack. Look at him right there. Look at the size of that bass. There we go. Underneath this thing. Okay. You got the rod, Lonnie? Yeah. Go got ahead. it, buddy? Holy man, this is crazy. The Larry, conditions Larry, out here are horrible. Thanks, Lonnie. Holy man. Look at that. Look at the size of this one. Yeah. <laughs> got him, Lonnie? Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Woo! Nice job. Hey, I'll tell you what, it's not always fun and games filming a TV show, but it's always a lot of fun. <laughs> not much game to it today. It is absolutely crazy here, man. Lonnie, awesome job today. Got the boat control going. We got winds that keep gusting sometimes over 30 miles an hour. It is absolutely horrible out here. <laughs> But hey, we're still fishing we're and we're still catching catch fish, them. Eh? Whew, look at my gloves. Look, look at this. Whew. And they're half froze. Man, nice, nice. Them are some absolutely toad smallmouth. No doubt. Look at the girth on these fish. You know, again, bolt control is everything when you're in these kind of conditions, you guys. So we're using the big motor, we're using the electric motor. We're using two drift socks. You know, whatever it takes to keep that boat under control so you can work them brakes. That's what it's all about. Total boat control. Got our bimini top up so our camera guy can stay somewhat dry. But you know, a lot of this rain is blowing so hard, it's coming in sideways. So, right, Rolani, couple more passes. <laughs> we're on it, we're on it. Getting a little nasty out here, I must say. Hmm. One more, and I mean one more pass. Lon, I think after this fish, we maybe finish this pass, we definitely starting to go in. It's definitely getting a little too rough out here. And we've caught a ton of fish so far. Boy, this, this feels definitely like a good fish. Man, oh, this fishing is absolutely world class, my friend. Holy man, if you guys want to come out and experience some of the best small mole fishing in the country, you definitely want to check this out. Boy, this fish is just bulldogging down again, Lonnie. Oh. Holy man. Ooh, nice. Oh, That's a tank. That is absolutely a tank. Wow. 
And again, you know, that fish is way over five pounds. You guys, look at that. Oh, it, it might even be bigger than that. That is a giant. And that's the cool part. Yeah, again, some people might criticize us because we're using live bait. But you know what? We're having fun and we're catching fish. We're not harming the fish at all. All them circle hooks, you can see exactly where they're hooked. Not one of them was ever in the stomach. It's just a great way. Otherwise, these fish are really tough to catch this time of year. Hey, Lonnie, thank you very much today for putting me on my personal best smallmouth. You know, 6'8", that is a giant smallmouth. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Hey, let's uh, finish this pass up and head in. Look at the belly on that fish. That's a toad. Hey Lonnie, I'll tell you what, it's nice to get out of that rain. That was some pretty fierce conditions today. But you know, the cool part is that you and I kind of teamed up together. I was working the big engine when it got too rough out there to keep us on the brake. You were on the bow mount. We had both of the drift socks down. And let's talk a little bit about ice fishing. Man, you're building 10 new shacks out in your shop right there. You took me, you already have how many out in, out in the lot there. And I'm just looking here, I counted 35 Vexlars sitting here in this one spot. You know, when you have an ice guiding business as large as yours, you need to have a lot of equipment, you know? Yeah, we got a lot of loyal customers that come back year after year, so that's great. And uh, we're always growing. We're keeping up with the demand. Uh, that white fishing's been good to us, trophy walleyes. Um, you know, so we like to stay up with all our equipment and uh, keep building houses to have new spots to go or cover some real estate to get customers okay. on fish. Yeah, that's awesome. I'll tell you what. Hey, Lonnie, I'm sure people are going to want to start calling you pretty soon. And if not right now in booking up for ice guiding, let's tell them how they can do it. Yeah, so give us a call in the office. Uh, you want to call Barbara. She does all our bookings for winter. It's Her number is 920-255-2617. Or check us out on the web at www.trophyicefish.com. Hey, that's awesome. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this week's show. Hey, don't forget to check out our new podcast. And that comes up every Tuesday. We do a brand new podcast. It's called We Eat Fish Eat. Also, make sure you check out all of our other social avenues like Facebook, Twitter, and of course, all of our stuff goes up on YouTube. We put fresh things up there that we don't put on networks on YouTube each week. Hey, don't forget to be proud to be an American. We're living in the greatest country in the world, and no doubt it is a great day to be alive, and we'll see you next week. I'm not doing the car. Not, oh, I'm not doing the car. I don't trust this thing. It'll say seven, it'll take 700. You trust that thing? Okay, now let's see what happens. This is, could not read cards. Oh, this card good. Hey, hello. Nothing there, Lon. Hey, cash is king, except for this, this, uh, whatever it is. More important, look at his eyeball. Oh, that's a bad one. <laughs> 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 okay, little little strange. <laughs>